Right, so this is the walkthrough tutorial for the last time from the Grade 3 Trinity Rock and Pop guitar books. So your introduction, verse and the end of your chorus as well as your coda are all pretty much based around the same riff. The difficult thing with that is the speed, the actual movements are not too bad. So you're going to start with a slide from 7th fret on the D up to the 9th. So I'm going to use my 3rd finger because it then frees up these two to fill in the rest of the riff. From there, you're going to use your 1st finger to play the 7th fret on the G. You're then using your third finger and your pinky to play the ninth fret on the D and the G. That's the first bar. Second bar of the riff. You're going from an open D to hammer on on the 9, and then 7th fret on the G again, so using the same finger position of the 3rd and 1st. You're then coming down to the A string, open, using your middle finger to hammer on 7th fret, coming up to the 6th fret on the G, played with that 1st finger. Right, your chorus is working around a bar chord kind of shape. So you're working with your A and your D. So I would bar with this first finger here and use your middle finger for the 6th and your 3rd finger for the 7th. Because that leaves you nice and free if when you come back into the riff again, you're already in position to do the... So your chorus, you've got... You're starting on the D string, 7, coming up to the high E, down, B, G, back up to the high E, then working up the way, G, B, E. Okay, that pattern is repeated twice. You then move the whole thing up to the 10th fret, and you're going to play the pattern once, and then repeat the second bar of the pattern. So. Then you bring it back down to the A on the 5th fret. Back in the riff. So your chorus. Right, so your solo, you're starting on the open G, hammer on to first fret, and then open E. You're then working down B string from 3rd fret to 2nd fret while holding 2nd fret on the G. So. You're then coming down to the 1st fret on the G and open strings on the B and the E. You're 
you're then working up across the G and the G. So you've got a bend from the first, second fret of that G string, and then you've got two pull offs. repeat the hammer-on pattern starting on the open G. So your solo. Okay, you then go back and repeat it from the chorus through to the coda and you're just finishing on an E chord. And that's pretty much it. Very hard to 